There is something quite unique about what one feels whilst in the back of a black Mariah. It's a sensation that can only be described as complete surrender. You've been nicked and there's not a lot you can do about it. Strangely, it's a feeling that can be oddly comforting to the using addict. For at that moment, the addict is truly beaten and forced to desist chasing that which addicts chase, that which casts its spell upon every addict, that which is often referred to merely as it. At last there's nothing to pursue. You are truly powerless. You are truly in the now. The plan is, there is no plan. The plan is, you're fucked. I stared down at the wooden ridges of the van's murky grey-blue floorboard and felt somehow reassured. It was almost as though, albeit subconsciously, I knew I couldn't carry on like this. The game was up. Maybe somewhere at some point in the future, redemption would avail itself of a hopeless case like me. After a noticeably short drive, we arrived at Cannon Row Police Station, a three-minute drive from Trafalgar Square. I was led straight to a cell. No questions asked. Nothing. We're going to conduct a strip search. Are you all right with that, Sebastian? I'd heard about strip searches and wasn't at all keen on the idea, but for some reason it was standard practice for the police to look up teenage boys' asses in the 1980s. Uh, I'd rather not, actually. I'm afraid you don't have a choice. It won't take a minute. Pull your trousers down. Why ask, then? Just do as you're told, said the officer. I disrobed, and whilst the copper with the rubber gloves peered up my sorry little ass, another rifled through my clothes. It was all very quick and clinical, although humiliating not what I'd term sexually abusive. Fortunately, apart from the emergency spliff under my futon at home, I'd polished off all my drugs hours ago, so all they'd found was an empty bottle of Stolichnaya. Not up my ass, obviously. (laughs) 